This this question's right up my right up my alley. And oh yeah. And so cool. it's Jeff is asking ball cap with a polo and a kilt, yay or nay? Well, I always say? I always wear caps. So I yep. for me You're it's a cap guy. But I will change my cap according to what I'm doing. So the more formal thing, I'll go to a flat. I'll go to a. <laughs> You'll wear a formal baseball cap. That's right, a formal baseball. Cap. It's got the sil- it's got the silver piping on it. You uh, know, little square buttons. Uh, I mean, throw them out there. <laughs> only break out the good ones for the for the special occasions. <laughs> um, um, but, I mean, flat cap for formal occasions. For everything else, I'm usually wearing a ball cap. But I wear hats all the time. Always have. So. Right. Right. You don't mean formal occasions. You mean dressier, dressier occasions. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, nice. Uh, what, what, what's the term you like to use? Um, casual nice? or tweed? Dressy casual? Dressy casual. When you're talking about tweed outfits, you say this. Oh, smart day wear. Smart day wear. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, if it's smart day wear, don't do the ball cap. If you're going out to a golf outing or a sporting event or, you know, trucking around a festival or something like that, sure, wear a ball cap, you know. With your Prince Charlie, only the finest ball cap from your NASCAR team, Mac. Didn't P Diddy do that? Wasn't he the one? He's got the he had the he had the Prince Charlie jacket and he had the ba- uh, baseball like, cap on. I want to say it was a leather baseball cap, which makes it better. Yeah, yeah. maybe if you're hip hop, yeah. just do what you do. Yeah, if you're a rock star or an artist, as it were, then you're just gonna do what you're gonna do because you're an artist. So it's it, it's an interpretation of it. You might look like an ass, but it's your interpretation of you're, it. You're a creative ass. You're creative. So, but yeah, I say ball caps are casual. If it's a casual event. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've got the backup ball cap in the vehicle in case I need it to. You're crazy though. Like <laughs> you, you match you. This we're talking about a guy who who can color coordinate coordinate his ball caps to his tartans. Yes, you've got an insane collection of ball caps. Yeah, it's and Ron actually pointed out today and we were we were just talking about something because I have I had this shirt and it was hard not to wear the cap I normally wear with this shirt. Today I wore a different one. But he's like, even your socks match. Because yep. I have the Strathclyde kilt on, which is blue. Yep. And the socks have yep. blue accents on them. So it's, it's yeah. all got to match. Yeah, yeah. Color-coordinated NASCAR t-shirt with the tartan. Mm-hmm. That's dedication. You can do it. That's, it is. Yeah. It's like so subtle. For casual wear, that's like so subtle, but so weirdly on point. If you're not sure what hat to wear, uh, Mac touched on this. I would go with a flat cap over a ball cap. If you want, again, just like we were saying, I have a semi-trad kilt is more flexible than a casual kilt. A flat cap, which is very traditional, um, will go for any number of different contexts from really casual all the way up to smart day wear potentially. So if you're not sure and you only can only have one hat, go with a flat cap, not a ball cap. Right? Agreed. 